Yeah, so I have master in uh, network engineering that I've done in uh, France. Um, and since then, uh, it's been five years since uh, I worked uh, first in um, administration, so Windows, Linux, everything on this side. And I moved slowly toward uh, Azure, so directly with uh, Terraform and Sybil, the, the good stuff. And um, yeah, now it's been four years that I'm fully dedicated to to Asia, and hopefully stay like this because that's an uh, interesting field. Was always changing and motivating to just stay on top of the technology. So yeah, it goes a bit in the same way. What I what I like is just that it's, it's never really the same thing. Um, we even though it's IT, we still have a lot of uh, creativity, I would say, uh, on our side, because there are so many ways of implementing stuff. And with cloud and Azure, uh, when you are working with the, the newer product that Microsoft is raising, um, there is not always an example or not even a documentation sometimes. So yeah, it's really just the entertaining part. And yeah, it's just, working in the field that's constantly changing and yeah with people that are like-minded trying to grow uh, for themselves and also to work on common projects and yeah. the main tip that i have for friends that are asking me how do i get started into this is to uh, find a context because um, with this kind of project if you just try to go deploy our um, app service and website database, if you just go on the documentation, it will work because that's the documentation and it's not interesting. And yeah, the main thing that you will learn with is by struggling, luckily. <laughs> so yeah, just trying to find the context um, that's a bit not outside the box, but at the border where you will have to face a bit of issues to learn more and try to dive more into the projects because it's very hard to just deploy and something and try to find out what you will learn because you just deployed it, it worked, that's the end of it.